If you have watched my summer must-have bags video, you know that I picked up a jute tote from Muji that cost me only, I think, $8, $5, $8 and I was thinking about painting that tote that's completely inspired by the Dior book tote but I didn't want to paint the exact pattern so I actually designed my own little book tote and I'm gonna show you just a tiny bit of a sneak peek at the tote and today I'm gonna talk you through the whole process as well as you will see exactly how I set up everything now huge disclaimer I have literally never learned how to design anything but I do have I in my opinion a creative mind and I like to dabble into things that I have no expertise in so if you are a design student, please don't laugh at me. This is very much a DIY little project that helped me fill my time as well as just bringing something that is so different and nobody else will have. It will be a conversation starter when I bring this little tote out on my next, I don't know, vacation or beach trip. So let's start with how I came up with this idea. This was definitely influenced by my friend. She actually painted this exact same tote that is inspired by the Dior book tote. I decided to design my own little monogram and as you know my name is Audrey so I wanted to use the letter A. I have always loved the shape of the letter A and in fact I'll show you some of the early designs of this A monogram so you can see a very much of a scattered design. I mean, this is not following any sort of pattern or anything. I sort of landed on a just more simplistic triangle-ish design. I have pretty much drawn out the entire tote, how it would basically look like with this particular A monogram design. So from afar, it definitely gives you the Dior book tote vibe. Once I figure out the design, then it comes to actually purchasing the right material for painting. So if you don't know, the jute tote is more of a scratchy type of material. It is actually pretty durable, but you probably don't want to wear like softer material, definitely not silk, definitely not satin material with the jute material. And so I went to a local art supply store. I know that my friend used acrylic paint. So I was looking for acrylic paint. Somebody who was working there happened to, you know, just ask me about this little DIY project. And he said, yes, I have also heard other people painting their Muji jute tote. So maybe this is already a trend. I don't know. But he also mentioned that besides the acrylic paint, I need to buy a fabric acrylic binding material. The brand that I went for when it comes to acrylic paint is this golden acrylics. I don't think it really matters which brand you go for. This is actually the only little bit of paint I have left. So I bought this. I was originally thinking about painting the whole tote white and then draw on it with acrylic pen and the person actually suggested me mixing this pretty much just white it's called titanium white color with a green color because that way it gives you a little bit of the green tint that really blends very well with the more neon green acrylic pen that I decided to go for. This particular color is also inspired by the current Dior like lime green book tote. I just, I'm obsessed with the color lime green. So if I design a bag, I will design it in that specific color. I bought this one in the big tube and then bought the green one in a smaller tube. All of these are pretty affordable, I think. I don't know, probably around $10. This one might be $10, $15. The smaller one might be around $10. And then I also just bought one big brush to help me brush on the color. And that brush was also, I think, under $10. So overall, in terms of the supply, you don't really need much except for the acrylic paint in the color that you want the 
fabric binder type of paint material the brush that you are going to use and the acrylic pen if you are looking to draw on your bag so this one i got in the two millimeter width on my canvas tote it looks like this i definitely think in certain lights this almost looks like a neon yellow but it definitely has green neon green tint to it i just really like this it's a great pop of color when i bought this pen i decided to only buy one because i was thinking okay i'm gonna draw on it and maybe i will run out of it at least i can calculate how many more i will need and guess what this is still the only one pen that i bought okay and i i don't think you can see now because i've been shaking this but the last i checked i've only used half of this pen to paint this entire i mean draw on this entire bag which is really impressive i didn't i definitely thought i would need like four or five pens but not the case so this is actually a pretty affordable diy project so if you want to follow along with me and want to also design something that is more unique to you you can definitely do so i will say that overall it took me pretty much eight hours maybe no actually not even probably five six hours in total i did do it over two days so on the first day what i did was starting off with that base paint it took me a little bit to sort of mix the color to make sure the base color is the one that i want i just want a little bit of green in it and i want it to be mostly white or off-white color and then once i have the right color this is where i did not plan very well i just used a half cut off plastic water bottle as my paint palette but i think if you have one of those like paper plates you probably would use that that will just make it so much easier for the brush to work as you see from the video clips i had to basically do a little bit at a time use it all and then add more because my little water cup container was a little bit too small for this project nonetheless i don't think it mattered too much if your shade isn't a hundred percent matching the shade that you did the the last round i did decide to paint the front and the back first and let it dry a bit and then i painted the side as well as did i paint the bottom yes i also did paint the bottom so this is the color that it came out to be after painting on it i will say that this definitely feels a little bit weightier i mean you are adding the paint on it and it also um still feels a bit like sandpapery scratchy material because that's just what jute is going to bring you but i will say that it just looks really good and i also decided not to paint on the handle because i didn't want to kind of screw up the softness of the material and this color actually goes really well with the rest of the tote so that was what i did on day one and overnight i just basically hang it up and let it dry and i wanted it to be completely dry before i start drawing on it the next day and so to draw on it i actually drew something like this and i did a little bit of a math to basically measure the length and uh width of the bag and um, to make sure that i know exactly how many rolls i'm going to have of the monogram as well as how many little monogram icon i need to include on each row i did five rows on top and then for each roll i had 15 uh monogram icons across over here and i had this is basically two roll worth of space each roll is exactly one inch so if you buy this exact size this is the medium size just know that if you want something that looks similar to this just go for one inch for 
each row at the beginning i thought i would just measure everything and draw one at a time but as you can see from the time lapse i ended up deciding to measure out everything especially you are designing something that is more of a very much regular you know not too crazy type of design it's literally repeating the same pattern if you want this to be as neat as possible then i highly recommend as you see what i did in the clips is i just basically draw dots on where the edges of the monogram would touch and then i would just measure things out and i actually used a just piece of used um, cardboard to serve as my ruler so you don't have to ruin your ruler with the paint and it actually worked out really really well in terms of drawing straight lines and for the fatter bit of the a monogram i just hand drew these in the whole drawing process took me i'd say about Mm, three hours three four hours i basically just listened to my audiobook when i was drawing and it was actually really soothing so if you want something to kill time with if you want something that is calming to do that you could listen to the music and an audiobook while doing it this is a great option if you love coloring books i feel like you would love a project like this as well so this is the end product i will show you a bit in detail this is the side that i am most proud of because this side i did measure out everything whereas if you look at this side especially in this top left corner you will see that the patterns isn't that regular or that neat but on the other hand i think because i picked this like neon-ish color as well as painted the base of the toad these patterns don't stand out so much and from afar it, i think it looks really really good i have not decided what i want to do in the middle so for now i'm just leaving it blank i think maybe i could write my name on it but then i thought that might be a little bit too pretentious i don't know <laughs> so i decided not to the other tiny little thing that i did was as you see here at the basically the corner or like the middle point where you would fold the tote i just drew a little monogram over here so you see a little a as well as over here i just thought this is like a cute detail to add and i really like how this tote has turned out i am definitely going to use this as my beach bag or just as a shopping tote i think this is just very very easy the size is very great if you want there is a smaller version there is also a bigger version so if you feel like you don't want to commit to a bigger sized handbag painting project i think the smaller version actually looks really cute too so then you could experiment with your design maybe with the small version and if you feel like you want to do more of this you can definitely buy different sizes this is overall just a really really fun project and i personally really enjoy the designing process figuring out what to buy this is something that pretty much anyone can do i am not artistic whatsoever and if i can do something like this I think most people will be able to as well. You just need a little bit of patience, a little bit of calculation, especially really designing something that is really easy to replicate if you do want to go for a monogram style. But if you are super artistic, you, you want to draw an animal, whatever, um, you can definitely do so very, very easily with these acrylic pens. And remember not to buy too many because for me, one is more than enough so maybe just start with one and this is such an affordable project as well i really really enjoy the process let me know if you want me to do more diy projects like this i will be down to design like another little toad and maybe do something else related to handbags or clothing let me know in the comment down below and i hope you enjoyed today's video share it with a friend if you feel like this is a good idea to paint your totes and i will see you in one of these ones bye